so the wind is really bad. I've tried to start this video multiple times. What is going on, guys? So I'm actually starting out this video. I was going to start it down at the shop, um, but I'm going to start it here uh, because, well, I'll show you the car and everything. Um, we are going to help Zach install a Mantic twin disc clutch on the Camaro today, um, but we're also going to finish up on the wheels and get those done too. So we want to get both side wheels uh, the same color um, because we had a little bit of an issue. Um, we needed more uh, super wrap than we thought and yeah we ran out so we did one side really well and then the other side's still black so I swear this was not really planned um, I just really like these wheels and that pops on that color and I want to do something different on the Shelby some of you guys hate this some of you guys love it I really really like it the wind is kind of bad here but I, I really really do love this color combo we have it uh, basically black or the stealth gray on this side and you can see that right there I I'm see this looks kind of boring kind of it looks good but I really like being different and doing something that's just just fun and you know the cool thing at the end of the day I can always peel this off so we're gonna hop in the Shelby and head down to the shop get some coffee because I'm tired as hell and yeah let's go do the uh, clutch on the Camaro all right so I know you guys haven't seen a lot of videos on the GT500 lately that's because we have had three or four weeks of trying to get Ashley's car ready for Mustang week Mustang week plans not going according to plan and really just a lot of things and on top of that I've also been working on trying to figure out you know the cost for the built motor um, plans see if there's any better uh, things out there by the way if anyone has a spare 58 lock and crank they want to sell me for not a crazy price let me know because my plans are to pull this motor out and build this one but by disassembling the stock short block you lose a lot of value in the stock short block um, but the stock 5.8 blocks are somewhere in the five to seven grand range with no components in them which is very expensive um, so we're trying to figure that out. If you guys have not already picked up a Mustang Lifestyle t-shirt, we still have a lot of XL large 2XL shirts left. So go ahead and pick those up. We have them for $25 with shipping included. Um, these ones cost a little bit more to make because I did the multicolor, um, but I think they came out really awesome and a lot of guys loved them up in Tennessee. So I know it's been a little bit lacking on the GT500 content, but that's because I'm trying to set a lot of things up. Um, we may do a few like races here and there uh, with some cars and we got some plans to do uh, some throttle body changes with BMP which will be soon. So I want to give you guys that kind of update. Um, we got the truck wheels, which I am so in love with them, Venom Rex. Um, I drive the truck most of the time anyway, so having that looking awesome is just awesome to me. So, so I hope that answers your questions. I know um, some people get upset when we don't make videos only on the GT500. Um, newsflash, I have nine vehicles and um, yeah, I mean, you guys, well, you guys are, don't know about two of them right now, but I have a video series coming on those. Um, but yeah, I keep busy and hope you guys keep enjoying it and leave a comment down below. Hit the like button, it helps get the videos out to more people. So we're gonna continue on to the shop and show you a Camaro a Mantic Twin Disc install video. I'm gonna talk with Zach and try to see if we wanna do, um, you know, show you guys just a little bits and pieces and make a full install video or what, but we'll figure it out. You know, I forget how much I like the sound too. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the sound too just makes it really fun. Um, it just adds a lot of sound. I actually got a lot of hate on SVT performance for doing the sound tube on this car, but I mean, can you really, really argue with this sound? <laughs> that sound is so killer. I don't know why people like hate on it so much. They say it's like a ricer mod, but it's the same thing as like swapping out axle backs for a louder exhaust this does the exact same thing um, so we're gonna head down to Port Orange down to the shop and yeah and we'll get started on Zach's Camaro dang I missed it she was dancing almost had some good tunes going all right dude Finally it's time it. to put the Mantic in that's right we got the 
new girl over here. So. Mantic twin disc. That thing's a beauty. Yeah. Center force throw out bearing. So this is a billet aluminum design, whereas the factory one is plastic. So hopefully a little better performance. Jeff said we didn't need it, uh, but I got it for a little cheaper than the OEM bearing, so we'll give it a shot. And look at that. All right, so for all the Camaro haters out there, yes, we are showing a Camaro. That's right. To be but, fair though, it has the same transmission as the GT500, which we're going to be doing we're soon doing anyways. Here, so this will kind of give us an idea of what we need, how easy it's going to be. Um, having a lift makes a huge difference. Uh, essentially, we're going to take off the entire exhaust, and then we're going to take off the uh, drive shaft, and then the transmission can come out. And your shifter, of course. Shifter's already done. I oh, did, wow. Did before you got here. Impressive. I, the part, so I figured do that before we... Yeah, I forgot my up. keys. I literally was in Daytona, about to turn on 95, and I tried to turn around. It happens sometimes. See the scrapage, man? I already raised it some, but we're already Oof. scraping and Oof. messing up the runners. All right. Well... <laughs> I thought you asked me to hold the pose <laughs> so you could help. <laughs> Not so you could grab the camera. <laughs> now I will help. Right. Do these just... I, I would slide off the top. Yeah. There she is. Got the exhaust off. Yeah, buddy. You brought gloves? I did. Um, they're right Oh, you know what? I think I got... Ah, oh, got some grease monkeys. Maybe. I got one. Nope, I got two. There goes my wax. You have cats? Not, not necessarily. I mean, they're high flow. There's nothing in there. But test pipes, I guess, if you want to call them that. You think they'll get in the way? Um, yeah, it's it's yeah. possible. All right. I mean, pop it's only off. two clamps to pop them off. First time I'm taking the Chevys them off. always have a, a top center bolt in the trucks. You may or may not have it in this one, but just be mindful of that. They may not be on the sides. So they might the be on in the, the center. The Civex car has that in the middle too. Dude, I hope I didn't leave it in gear. Cause then I'm gonna have to climb up there and I did. It. Jesus Christ! I thought I did everything correct. All right, drive shift. Should be ready to pretty much come right down. Yeah, might need to just wiggle, wiggle shebang, and yep. There we go. Yeah. So. I'll just say it because people are just going to comment it. You didn't have to unbolt all the things, which we found out, but... Um, you already knew. I just yeah. I got excited and started unbolting everything. Yeah, basically you can keep the rubber things um, bolted to there. And I mean, you can do either or. You can leave the rubber bolted to you know, the trans in the rear end, or you can do either or. Zach just was like, send it. I want to unbolt six bolts instead of three okay, on each side. Go. Now... We have my my guess is you're gonna wiring. have to unbolt pop, pop these two for yep. sure, um, and then this entire piece should come down. Yeah. is what they're saying. Yep, and then unplug all the wires. Uh, the transmission cooler line should just pop out. That's pretty much it. It's crazy. We took all this off in maybe 20 minutes. Yeah, clutch really isn't a hard job on something like this. Yeah, have, having a lift is key. Yeah, doing this on the ground sucks. Or cross member. Uh, yeah. Put the strap over it. <laughs> no, no, the problem is that bolt's coming out. All right, well, Zach was undoing the trans cooler lines. Yeah, I got all the bell housing bolts loose and out of there besides the bomb too. So, any tips for people undoing the trans cooler? Um, there's a little thing. Oh, it's a little, it. little C-clip? Yeah, just a little C-clip. Uh, I oh, just used that's a flat actually not a C-clip. That's a um, that's called something else. One but of the little pin things. Similar thing. Yeah. You just pop it out and then you pull them out. Um, they didn't leak a lot of fluid, to be honest. You can use a, a little catcher, but did not leak a lot of trans uh, fluid. So we got the whole harness laying right there, out of the way. 
Um, we got two bottom trans bolts to come off, and I think we pretty need much to pop off this uh, slave cylinder line, the hydraulic line. To the oh yeah, that's important. Yeah, it looks like it's just a it's small this, it's probably line. the same thing as the yeah. trans cooler lines. Just that like that probably will leak. Yeah, for sure. For sure. What sucks on these cars is it shares the. The brakes share the same reservoir as the clutch, so I might have to bleed my brakes after this. What you know about, uh, what you know about that Tremec? Tier 60-60, boy! Stamp, baby. Ain't no MT-82 in here. No, sir. <laughs> Yo, Andrew working on a car? No, no, you gotta cut this out. Cut that out? Editor, cut this out. I don't know, man. <laughs> Just tell the people what you told me, though. What? This was one of the... This is really easy to work on. That's the, right. The bell housing bolts, everything, just super easy to get at. They weren't extremely tight like Ford people like to put them. <laughs> and it's out. Yeah, man. His exact words were, man, I love Camaros. That's what that, I remember that's hearing. That's exactly it. <laughs> There's the old 6060. Throw out bearing looks in good shape to be honest, but we're gonna try to use a different one. Yeah. Clean up the inside of this a little bit. What I'm thinking is if we can't get the other one to work, we'll just use that one. But yeah, usually when I take the Mustang MT82, the uh they're already like broken. Yeah. Alright, so we have a clutch. Oh, did you get um brake fluid? Yep. Dang, you came prepared. Yeah, man. So, we got one clutch here. Now, this slips a little bit for you, right? Yeah, third gear, I can't go wide open because it'll slip. So, we're expecting to see some burnt material. Yeah. It's probably not, you know, exploded, but definitely worn down oh, yeah. from uh, some drifties and some curb action. <laughs> <laughs> Only one curb incident. That's right. Dow pin or something. Yeah, you're off. Uh, you got it. Not bad, actually. Wow. Just too much power for it. Yeah. That flywheel doesn't even look bad. Yeah. I'm gonna the clutch. You got a little bit of hot spots, but really not not bad. For the way I treat this car. For the <laughs> for the way you treat this car, that that looks That's mint. Really yeah. Anybody want a uh, mint sale. mint clutch? $1,000 for the best off. You think the, the wall will get those off? Oh, did you just, you didn't just see that. Look, see the dust? Your inside, that's where you're, uh, you're getting your wear. Uh, so, overall, it looks good. Power is the reason why, but yeah. it's, you can see your hot spots right here. For sure. I kind of thought that was gonna happen. I'm like, nah, he's not gonna do it. Yeah, the rear main seal's looking decent. So we got our Mantic flywheel. Yeah. Six bolt. Six we got bolt. new ARP flywheel hardware. ARP flywheel. We're gonna clean it up. Just um, get it these bolts here, you put on first. Make sure you do that, because then you can't put them on afterwards. That's right. That's what all the locking pins and all that stuff rides on. Locking pin, I think they're just called locks or whatever. Those slide on here, then your multiple discs, intermediate plates go all through there. Dripping fluid on me, again. Same. It's a rite of passage. So Jeff has been a huge help at Mantic Clutch. One tip that he gave me that I wanna share with you guys, use the flex plate bolts, not the flywheel bolts, because the flex plate bolts are actually a little bit shorter. If you get the longer bolts, what's gonna happen is, is that's gonna cause it's going to connect with your flywheel, and that's going to cause an issue. Part number? 244-2901 is the part number. We'll put a link in the description. There she is. Lubricate, but also Loctite. Interesting. All right, so with the Loctite and the assembly lube, and these tight, 
Give her a little torque in afterwards, right? Yeah. Definitely need a TV for the shop. If anyone wants to send a TV so we can watch some Formula D while we watch uh, this, the P.O. Box will be right here, right? <laughs> we need it. All right. So, clean your flywheel off. Yeah. Obviously, you got your bolts in there already. And we'll show you the basic assembly of the Mantic. So these little lock things right here, you want to make sure that the bolt is all the way out. So you move your finger there. And uh, there's also a groove to which these sit in so that they can't move left and right. So This is what keeps it aligned, essentially. Yep. I've done quite a few Mantics, actually. Yeah, buddy. This would be your third one, right? Um, yeah, my vehicles, and I've also uh, done a few on some other cars nice. from back in the day. They're actually fairly simple. I think most twin discs are similar. Um, I will say, like, this is probably the easiest one to align. It's always important to clean up yeah. your clutch. Make sure you don't get any dirt in between while you're trying to break this thing in. The basic idea is you go disc, intermediate plate, disc, pressure plate. That's it, man. So that that's flywheel side. Yep. Then intermediate plate. I'll just have to reset your uh, lock things. Make sure they go back right in the groove. Alright. Got one of them bad boys. And then we got our pressure plate and hardware. This one's got like one. So we got a few bolts on, just kind of working it around, uh, driving it in. Again, make sure that the locks on the side are in the groove on the back of the flywheel. That's to ensure that you don't drive them in and, and basically mark up the flywheel and cause lots of issues. All right, so cross pattern, yeah. 24 foot pounds. Got our two washers on there. All right, all the bolts are aligned. We already took the uh, alignment tool out, but goes in and out nice and easy that's it yeah buddy all right new slave cylinders in nice line quick connect yep poor filming skills but transmission is in uh what did we find out so this throw out bearing is from center force and it doesn't have let me grab the oem one the oem throw out bearing has a feed line and then a bleed line, so to speak. The center force only has a feed and you kind of have to pump it with the cap off uh, to bleed the system. Well, they recommend that you pre-bleed it by essentially compressing it and then sucking in fluid. I did that, but then I, I capped it off. Yeah, so this was holding pressure and while we were trying to push the transmission it in, in, it wouldn't push in, yeah. so. So we loosened it up and then that fixed it. Yep, we got her in. Cross members in, trans cooler lines are in, drive shaft, exhaust, almost there. Camaro guys. <laughs> All right, so what's going on? I'm pumping. Pumping it. We got the clutch pretty well bled, so. No bubbles now? Not really any bubbles. Ready? Yep. turn all the ABS and stuff on. I'm like, why isn't it moving? Yeah. Yeah, it feels super smooth. Nice. Glad that worked out. All right, put the cap on, bring it back up in the air, button everything else up. Woo! 
She's done. Not too bad. Mantic clutch install. miles of braking uh, you said 500 so. okay 500 500 500 if, if you're doing like highway and city it's like a thousand but if you do city then 500 is good okay. the man Jeff all right guys so we didn't end up uh, getting to super wrap uh, the wheels when we were doing the clutch we were planning on doing it originally but I just pulled the wheels off I'm gonna go bring them over to Zach he is way better at painting things than I am so we're gonna bring the wheels over there and finally get this car to match since we get the gold here or bronze bronze is what it was originally going for it looks more like a gold but yeah uh, side note the bullet is here I actually took the bumper off I need to figure out a solution to fix the exhaust side right there because it keeps melting and yeah so i just took it off so this is running no front bumper right now not that i'm driving it too much but yeah 